after our most recent what if video where we redesigned the chicken tonight logo many asked that our next brand be mtn coincidentally a week after that mtn actually rebranded their logo and they changed it to a more minimalistic style logo trying to infuse that modern day feel to it it got me thinking why are modern day logos flat why are they moving from 3d to flat design and how should that influence your design of software or even your logos let's get into it Design has really been through a cyclic type of evolution. We transitioned from 2D designs to 3D designs and now we have come back all the way to 2D designs. And today 2D designs are everywhere and all companies, especially big companies like car companies like BMW, Audi and so much more are getting their logos to a flat design. But why is this and is this something you should look at or is there something else we should be more interested in? To fully understand this cyclic revolution of logo design, we're going to have to go back a bit and understand the foundation of design and look at some of the godfathers of logo design. The first aspect we're going to be looking at is the Swiss style of design and the godfather of this was none other than Ernest Keller. Ernest believed that design should adapt to content, meaning content was king, that design should be focused around the content that someone should easily understand the designs you're making. It was more about being read and understood rather than being seen and admired. They wanted someone to go away with the information that wanted to be put across. Today we see a lot of that in the designs we make. Our designs of today are really simple and easy to understand because there's a lot of information overload. It's said that the information that has been created in the last four years is more than what was created before that. So there's a lot of information overload. So even your logos or any designs you're making need to be easily read and studied rather than just admired for the person to understand what you're putting across. Now if Swiss style is a bit boring for you, here comes Bauhaus. Bauhaus was a style where we infused more style and life into those simple designs. The designs were still simple, they were still easy to understand, but we added more life with shapes, triangles, color, bringing more life into things that we love to see today. It never really took away from the simplicity of Swiss style but added that element of love, that element of joy and fun of looking at designs that we can even see in today's art that we usually um, appreciate a lot. One case study that we can really look at to understand the Bauhaus style is the Apple redesign of iOS 7. If you really followed Apple and you were Apple user early on and you were able to use the software before iOS 7, you will remember the style of icons and the style of apps were really what they call skeuomorphic. That means they really took on the elements of Earth or the elements we are used to. If it was a notebook, then a notebook app would look like a notebook. If it was the calendar, the calendar would take on a shape and form that looked like the calendar. And this was because at that time when we were transitioning to smartphones, the design world was not really sure how we would adapt to that. So the idea was to create elements or apps or software that really looked like something we were able to understand in the physical world. Even the logos were made to look like they have a 3D element to them and that's where those busy logos like church logos with a bad world would come from. But that is just to give you that 3D element and make it feel like it's something natural to you. A one Johnny Ive who took over as a designer for software in Apple really hinted that, that Apple could not stick to that a lot because it had been about six generations. So people had actually been gotten used. So Johnny Ive who was really inspired by the Bauhaus movement, specifically Data Rams who was one of the people who was who was a founder or who was like a godfather in the Bauhaus movement. He was really inspired by him and if you look at the difference between iOS 6 and iOS 7, you can tell there was a lot of change took place but was really inhabited or it was really trenched in Bauhaus theory where you could see gradients on the logos, lots of color but the simplicity of the Swiss style was still a part of it. Now why is that important? Because when 
a company such as Apple does something like that, so many software developers have to adapt their software to look and resemble that it's a chain reaction for many other companies and for many other designers because these are the elements that your customers or your clients are using if you stay a cake you may find that you are not providing value for your clients in that period of time and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that it was because of apple that everybody started chaining this but i'm saying that there was a realization at that time that there was no need for the skeuomorphic designs when you look at 3d logos 3d logos are a bit complicated to use for example if you wanted to create an icon for your website tab it's really hard for someone to understand all that information whereas for flat 2d designs it's quite simple now am i saying that flat designs or 2d designs are the only logos you can create definitely not um jerry Wu, who on youtube has a really great two videos which he put out i'm um, looking at apple's design of their operating system over the past two years and it really goes to explain that we are actually getting into a time where flat design may be fading into something new something called new morphism um big words in this one today but bear with me so new morphism is something that blends flat design and skeuomorphism while this blends it we still see that simplistic style that flat design has but with a bit of 3d elements to it for example when you look at the icons of big Sur and the ios they are quite different you'll find that the icons on big Sur have a bit of 3d element to them whereas the ios icons don't so that is apple realizing that even today there's a lot of movement towards 3d design 3d design is coming back there's a lot of blender artists out there there's a lot of things that we're able to do and that's because we're moving into the time of artificial intelligence so such design will have a place in the world to come in a few years because we're moving into that world where we're going to be interacting with virtual reality more and more so flat design is not the be all end all so even with the introduction of neomorphism we still see that 2d design aspect we still see its importance it's not the be all end all but it is something that you should consider when you're trying to make a logo the old cake 3d designs may not necessarily work for your client today and that is something you should take into account probably it will i'm not sure who your client is but flat design and neomorphism are something that you should really look into especially in such a world where there are so many applications for your logo designs you don't want to create a logo that may not work in certain areas or at least create that logo with different form factors that still carry the brand identity that you're trying to deliver to your client that's been it i don't think there's anything else i can add to this one hopefully it added value to you and it helps you in your next logo design project uh what do you guys think of the mtn logo personally i think it's great it helps them move forward as a company into something i think very exciting and new it still carries the elements from the old logo but it just gives them that modern day feel and they are, it allows them to be more than just a telecommunications company so let me know in the comments what you guys think about it I'll see you guys in the next video and hey, always remember to deliver a feeling. Peace. And even with the introduction of neomorphism, we still see that to design, we still see that to de, we still that, we, we still see that to design, we still, no. <laughs>